Yo, my fellow tanks, welcome to a new We Tanks video on the Steam Workshop. That's right, you probably read the, the, the title already. Um, I have integrated We Tanks with the Steam Workshop, and that means that you can very easily upload your maps and mods to the Steam Workshop, but also download other people the maps and mods very easily. Which is just amazing. Uh, let's hop into the game and I will show you guys how to upload your map and how to also upload a mod. You coming? Alright, if, you, uh, uh, if, you, if you've if you got sharp eyes, you may already notice there's a new icon here. A new volume icon. And I read someone's review and people have been asking me. Some people have been asking me this in the past already. But I was like, oh, come on. You hate uh, the wind. Thanks, Jingle, at the beginning. Screw you. But now, once I saw there was a there was a negative Steam review. Negative? Negative? Take a negative review for Chuki to finally take action. Uh, no, no, okay. And then I decided, well, fuck it. I'm going to add a cool icon here at the top. And if you click it, it will mute the weed tanks. Weed tanks at the beginning. It's very simple. It's very subtle. Uh, but now you know. If you open the game and you're like, oh, man, what does this icon do right here? Now you know. Now, how to upload your map to the Steam Workshop. Go to the map editor. Create your new map. Oh, there's also a browse campaigns map. <coughs> if I click this, it will open... Um, it will open the workshop, but it's doing it in the Steam overlay, so you can't see it. For some reason, OBS doesn't record the Steam overlay. Anyways, uh, you go to New Campaign, and you just make you just make your campaign. You know, let me upload this campaign actually, so that if this if this update comes out, which is very soon, you guys will be able to play this campaign. Boom! Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna call this map the br the Brown Dancing Game, and uh, I'm not even going to test it. You guys can test it yourself if you're if you're curious if you can survive this or not. How to upload this to the Steam Workshop? You press Escape, and here you already see the button. Uh, but if you try and do it, it says please enter it all. Yep, 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 yep. But you need to save the map first because it's going to upload the 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 save file. First, you need to save the map. Let's call it the Brown Dancing Game. Allow other players to edit? No, only allow it to play. Sign map? Sure, let's do Chuki Luki. Boom, you save your map, file saved. Then you go to upload Steam Workshop, the brown dancing game. Can you survive the... There. Um, upload map. All right, now watch what will happen when you click upload. <coughs> Did you see that? It was taking an image of your first mission of level one. It will take an image of level one and it will use that image as, as the workshop item image. Um, now, if you want to ch do other images on your workshop item, you can actually go to the workshop and change it in there. All right, that was my short tutorial on how to upload a workshop item. And now if you are creating a mod, so let's say a texture mod or a sound mod or anything like that, then you need to go somewhere else. You need to go back to the main menu and if you're still watching, you're going to know a little secret now. There, If you click on the smiley right here, you go to the developers menu. Um, and in here, you can click upload mod to Steam. And it already says here, uh, oh, <coughs> please zip the modded files first. Uh, the zip file should be inside the mods folder. Now, if you're a little known with how to mod in Wii Tanks, you probably already know where the mods folder is, but if you don't know, it's in the documents folder, my games, we tanks, and in the we tanks folder, you need to make a folder called called mods, just all lowercase, and that's the mods folder. There you can place your own mods, uh, test them, and then you zip them. I did not make this skin. I think Freyer made it. It's the king tank skin for the player, and I, I already uploaded this to the workshop. So if you click it, you see your zip file. You can give it a name, king tank. Player skin, and just give it a cool description. And you upload it, and boom, it's on the on the on the on the workshop for everyone to download. And I already did this for the King Tank skin, and I applied it. And if I and it's that easy, you apply it, you restart your game. <coughs> All right, here we go, and boom, the King Tank player skin. How do you get it? You just subscribe to the workshop item, and boom, it auto applies in game. How cool is that? 
I mean, it's a super easy way to uh, share mods, share textures, share, share sounds, uh, share maps. So I'm guessing this is kind of going to be the future of the user-generated content for Steam. I mean, for Wii Tanks on Steam. Because you might still remember the old campaign browser like many, many, many updates ago. Uh, it, it worked, but it's. I think it's not a, not as nice as this. So that's the uh, the Wii Tanks uh, workshop support that's coming in the official version. I hope I'm gonna release this official version today, but maybe a bit later. I don't want to deliver a, a broken workshop to you guys, and everyone's like, "Oh, Chucky, uh, it's all on fire! My map is gone!" And oh, so that's why it might take a little longer. Thanks for watching. See you later. Ciao.